Okay, welcome back everybody to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, I've done a bunch of things off screen, which I will put in the video by now. Yes, I know. Got this Lens of Truth thing, which is pretty cool. Why does it back off my view when I do that? That's strange. Uh, this... This dungeon seems like serious time. Also, these skulls are invisible in the Lens of Truth, but this one is not. Is that the only real one? Make my beak face the skull of truth. Okay, I see. So, this one over here doesn't vanish. You could definitely just trial and error this one. Just like push it around until it happens, right? Nope, stop, Link, please, no. I can't make him stop doing this. Uh, that actually kind of scared me. Uh. Um. So what else has happened? I got it. Thank you. Uh, I actually opened this a bit earlier, but I know what to do with it. So I I played the Nocturne of Shadow, thinking I would just get back to Kakariko Village. You can't quite brute force it, you have to actually let it sit there for a second. Um, so I just played the Nocturne of Shadow and it took me to that little platform with all the torches. I just kind of did the torches, I figured out the puzzle right away. What's going on here? Do I hookshot over? No wood here. But there'd be like invisible path or something you could walk across, but I guess not. Is this the one I came in from? No, it can't be. I've heard that you can do something to get the big Goron sword. Uh, okay. I mean, I got that handled. Um, I've heard about the big Goron sword, and I kind of looked for it. Bloody history of great hatred. Really? I think Kyrell seemed like a pretty nice place. So you don't really need the Mask of Truth, right? Because all the ones that are open are the ones that have the green-eyed skeletons in them. Why do you keep stopping me for that message? That looks like a door. like another thing. This is... oh, they're not all... the green ones aren't all open. There seems to be nothing in the middle. So let's go to the door. The door seems like the, the true path here. 
Oh, a redead. A redead with. What do you call it? Keys. Oh, come on, you jerk. Redeads are more annoying than they are scary. I guess I've talked about it before, but maybe the the stock scream sound effect kind of would like frighten you a little bit if you were a kid, maybe. Very strange camera cut away. So the door was a good option. What was I saying before that, though? Oh, my heart disappeared. Damn. How about the big round sword? I looked for a way to get the big round sword. It led me to play the dungeon map, my favorite part. Uh, it led me to play the... Uh, what's the song that teleports you to Death Mountain Crater? I played. I did that as a child. And it took me there, but... And that's why I figured out how to plant the... You know, I probably shouldn't explain this at all. Because I probably have already explained it. Oh. Probably already explained it in, like, annotations or whatever. Already. But I couldn't figure out the big round sword thing. I've, like, I've heard of that existing and people saying it's annoying. So I kind of looked tried to look around some things I thought were likely places to figure out where you would repair the Bikron sword or get it, I guess. I think I have the giant's knife now and that's what's broken. I really wish it would, it would not stop me every time to tell me those messages. Still have the broken. Oh, these guys again! You mean Nikki? Guys, they're not really that fun to fight. The hungry ghosts. Nope, come closer. They're probably jumping attack these guys. going for one hit, but there's better ways, apparently. Also, if you jump attack these hands, they may drop items. Like it's, it seems to be necessary to be grabbed by them, but then after that, not so much. Okay, enough. Jumping attack is pretty useless against these guys. talked about like some enemies are super fun to fight in this game like I really like the lizards are they called Lizelfos in this game I don't really remember uh, the lizards and the stealthos are awesome hover boots oh now I can fly over to the um, that that place I thought oh I could I could uh, hook shot across but nope also I meant to point this out. I bought a green potion. I almost never run out of it, of uh, magic, but I thought I would just go ahead and prepare anyway. Uh, what did I even want to look at in this menu? Oh yeah, I was going to equip the hover boots, of course. Yeah, broken giant's knife, there we go. Uh, 
Oh, so I see why you wouldn't want to have them on all the time. Because you do a little slidey. So I don't believe that this room is completely cleared out. Like the Lens of Truth uses just a teeny tiny bit of magic while it's active. Take off these silver boots for now. So I guess I was thinking, oh, we're going to the dungeon that is all about the Lens of Truth. Maybe I should stock up on mana, even though I've literally never run out. So that pile of dirt is just for fun, for looks. Go back to that main room. I, I like open the menu and it takes a second, and I like forget what I was going in the menu for. It's very bizarre. I think this game has like broken my mind in some ways. It's like the lens of truth turns off every time you go through a door, so one of those things where I don't really mind having it active a lot. Hover boots back on. Yeah. Get a good line up here. I've already done that, I've already done that, thank you. Oh, slidey. Go, go, go. Ooh, you only get a second. guys. Eye laser jerks. I'm sure they have a name and I'm sure it's cool but I don't know what it is. I also do the thing where I rotate around all three slots instead of just going to the right or whatever because I can never remember the correct button to press on my keyboard. Is this guy immune to bombs? No, there we go. It just took more bombs than usual. What's going on, Navi? Oh, do I play a song? Oh. Hmm. two doors here. I mean, the map told me that, but... And also, these guys are called Gibdos, I believe. Oh, there's two of them. I wonder I was getting double stunned. Roll away from them. Roll away from them. Uh, Song of the Sun... <laughs> Let's look this up in the middle of combat. The Sun Song. Uh, right down up, of course. This is one that I've memorized relatively well, I think. Also, this episode is going to be a bit shorter than usual, because of all the stuff I have to do off screen is going to have to be edited into the video. So, well, maybe it won't be shorter. It'll be shorter for me. I'll be doing less recording now, because I did much recording earlier. So I'm going to open this chest and then call this apart and then immediately get on recording at the next episode. That'll be fun. I have tons of editing ahead of me. <laughs> it's the compass. Alright, that's the basic materials. Okay, so I need to become more talkative. Save my game. And find more interesting things to talk about in this weird illusion dungeon for next time. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.